Hello, my name is Tom Harpersberger, and today I'll be showing you how to use actions um, in Photoshop. So basically, they're um, the sequence and the steps you use to um, edit a picture. So you can find the actions panel going under window and, and actions or press control F9. Um, from here, there's a preset of actions that are already available to you. Uh, we want to create our own, so we want to make a folder. We'll just name it CIS165 after the class I'm recording this for. Press OK. And we want to create an action, which is to the left of the, the trash bin. And we're going to name that shadow, because we're going to create a shadow uh, effect on here. And we press record. So from here, we want to pull out the eclipse tool. And we're just going to draw it out. Doesn't matter how it looks. Here's just an example. Um, so once you, you draw it, you want to rename it top. And you want to right click and duplicate the layer press OK and we want to rename it bottom and drag it underneath the top layer so it should be top bottom and then the background layer however you have it set so now we want to create effect on this layer we want to go under effects and do color overlay and we want to press the color here to create make our own color and you want to click the previous color the previous layer um, to show the color using the, the eyedropper tool and we just want to make the color a little bit darker we want to press OK and OK from there. And now you want to either drag it with the selection tool or um, use the mouse keys to move the bottom layer down a little bit. And now once we have it set, you want to right click. Um, you want to you want to um, convert to smart object first and rasterize um, the layer. And now from here, we want to use the, the transform tool. You can either go under edit and transform or just press control T. Now once we have that, should show um, a box. We want to right click and do warp. And now we just want to scale this a little bit so it looks like it's popping out at you. We'll have it set there. And we can also make an, another filter. Go to the, we go to the blur and pick any blur. And get set to how many pixels you want. And there's there's definitely an effect there. I think that looks fine. We'll do either seven or eight. And now we have that. All right, now we wanna go back under the actions and we'll hit the stop recording. Um, and then you can play the, the action we just did. And it goes right through. And it, it shows you all the steps. So that's basically how I use the actions layer in Photoshop.